welcome back to Factorio with me, JD, and we've, well, we, we've finished the war, we've cleared out some territory for ourselves, um, we, we're feeling a little bit more safe, um, but we do have some problems, um, I'm sure I capped that chest, but obviously not, oops, same time that can go in the trash, um, so we've now got one and a half thousand power, one point six thousand power poles. So we need to put them to use at some stage. At the same time, all this existing stuff is in our way, as are all our gun turrets. So we're actually going to get rid of all our old gun turrets uh, from there. All those guys can go away. Uh, same time, all those guys can go away. Because they're not actually doing anything. Uh, oh, yep. Yep. Some of these gun turrets need a... Need a friend or two to keep them company. Because the attacks are definitely getting bigger. Uh, same time, our research is finished. We can now do modular armor. Modular armor is is the one of the really, really big upgrades that say, hey, you're in the mid-game. Um... The biggest thing is, when it's finished crafting, um, two things. We, one, we get an inventory size bonus. So we can fit just a little bit more crap in our inventory, which is awesome. Second thing is, this has got a right-click menu, where we can actually put stuff in our armor to make our armor better. Um, unfortunately, we haven't researched any of that. So let's do... Can I do that one? Nope. That's the next level of armor. Uh, we want battery equipment. Uh, not the batteries will actually help us without power. So let's go with portable solar panels. That seems like a much more logical answer. Uh, same time, this belt here that's covered in ammo needs to be scrapped. Because we don't actually need ammo going north anymore. Um, now because we don't have robots, we're, we're relying on the base robots to deal with this. Same time, those same base robots will put all that ammo into storage. So that means at a later stage, we need to actually deal with a crap ton of ammo in storage. Um, but as always, that's, that's a problem for, for later me, not right now me. Late, right now me is quite happy with it just going to storage and we will sort it out later. Um... Now, the only other thing I did between episodes is I went and, by hand, built a lovely 4 to 4 balancer, which we've used in the past. And I also built its bigger brother, the 8 to 8. Um, and the reason I, I, I finally blueprinted these guys is, with the belts, new belt mechanics, they're a real pain to build, to be honest. Um, so I figured, look, we'll blueprint them. We'll cheat this one time, we'll blueprint them, and then we'll go from there. Uh, now we want our copper to come all the way out to here-ish. And then we could probably do green circuits in here. Uh, portal solar panels are finished. We want to go back up and we want to do those batteries that we started on. Uh, solar panels. We need to make actual solar panels, which is copper. Luckily enough, we have a couple of boxes of copper right here. Now, these will take forever to handcraft. Uh, but that's really, really fine. I don't mind. I'm not handcrafting anything else. Um, at least that's the hope. Um, so, they can busily handcraft whilst we try and plan out what we're going to do. So, we're going to do copper, let's say, right here. Now, these are yellow belt. I haven't upgraded them. Uh, to something bigger and better yet. Uh, that's something we'll actually do when we can... When we can actually afford to, pretty much. Uh, when we can afford to take lavish amounts of materials and dump them all over the base. And make things nice and shiny and pretty. Um, and have red belts all over. Uh, oops. And I do not wish to cut off my existing... Uh, supply. So I'm using splitters, which is sort of a no-no. Uh, but I'm doing it because I want to make make sure... Really? Why is one copper belt backed up and the other one crap? 
Are these never... Mm, they're never balanced. Or if they were, I de deconstructed it. Oh, we're making green circuits by hand. That's embarrassing. Uh, Alright. Put a splitter in. Uh, battery equipment. That's bigger and better batteries, which we need red chips for, which we don't have and can't get. Um... Alright, so that's our start of our splitter. Uh, it'll do the bare basic fundamentals of balance these four lanes of copper together. Uh, same time, we want its bigger brother, the 8 to 8, right about here. Uh, for our iron. Hang on, iron's going to come out. Alright, let's try and think this through. Let's think this through properly. So, copper's going to come out. Um, let's take a stacker belt. Make a blueprint of it. And we want... We want to come as far as this belt here. This ammo belt. Which is... Oh no, it's not the ammo belt. It's the... Uh, engine and red circuit belt. Uh, so we're going to come that far, and then we're going to turn it back in to do our actual green circuit processing. Uh, we want to belt there, belt there, belt there, belt there. Okay. Uh, Up to about here somewhere. And then we'll do green circuit processing. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully in here. Oh, that's stone. Crap, I forgot about stone. Uh, stone will have to snug up against copper somehow. So I'll have to come out and, and snug over this way. Because it is only one belt. Well, it's one belt of, of stone stone and one belt of brick. Um, but we'll work that out bit by bit. Okay, so if that's copper, we need a two-tile gap at the bare minimum. And the reason we use a two-tile is so we go underground, 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 onwards. Except I actually need somewhere to put rover ports, like here. So I'm going to use a six-tile gap. Yeah. Which means that underground goes there, that underground goes there, those belts go there. Oops, I broke you. Uh, so that gives us that. Uh, that's going to be where our iron goes. And I want a bigger gap between these two because everything, everything. Um, pretty much needs either iron or copper. Um, so you find a lot of belts coming off at yeah, one of these two. So having that extra gap there certainly helps things. Uh, now we want the bigger it's it, the, the bigger bigger brother of the splitters. Um, now I've chosen eight to eight for, for, for the simple reason of we're gonna use it. Um, but we're going to use six out of the eight. Um, and the main reason we've gone bigger is because we haven't really covered it yet. But this is what's known as a fully compressed belt. Everything's hard up against one another. Um, where's one of these running? I don't really have one running at full pace. Um, what about up here? Nope, they've all shut down. Uh, yeah. So what we used to do is we used to put put in some of these uh, uh, some of these undergrounds along the main line, which would mean that rather than these guys not being able to put down, they could at least force more plates into the actual belt. Um, with version sixteen, that went out the window. So that means we've had to tweak things ever so slightly, and it seems the best way to get compression currently is through a splitter. So this is why I have gone for a 
eight lane. Nope, that's wrong. Mm. Eight lane lined up there, please. Um, this is why I've gone from for an eight lane. A um, couple of reasons. One, eight lanes are divisible by two um, cleanly. Um, oh, eight lanes is a multiple of two. Um, whereas six, which is what we're actually using, isn't. So that leads to a few problems. Um, on top of that, uh, that's the blueprint I want. I only want it two wide now. Um, on top of that, it, it means that we've got a better chance of getting compression. Um, in theory. In theory. Um, it also means we could at one stage in the future actually pump eight lanes of iron in to this system. Um, sure, we need to have room on the bus. Actually, I want two lanes wider. I found with a main bus, which is what we're trying to accomplish, it's always better to have a wider gap than what you think you need. Um, it may cost you more belts and more undergrounds and more of all that sort of stuff in the future. But chances are you're going to need that extra space so you don't even realize it. Uh, okay. So that's that done. Uh, really? Moved it one square and suddenly no power. Okay. Got crap in my inventory again. Uh, okay, we have three solar panels. Uh, you have some copper. Uh, we need, now need batteries, which we do have on a belt around here somewhere. Yeah. Here, 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 here is our batteries. I'm gonna scoop up a heap of batteries, and nine's probably too many. Uh, let's go with one, two. Let's go with one, two, three, four. Uh, Research-wise, we want night vision. That's the big one I've been waiting for. I, I, I went and made some lights, some of silly things, but um, frankly, I can't stand them, and I forget to put them down a lot. Uh, yeah, they're definitely handy and they definitely work. Uh, whereas our armor w won't work because it's now night time. So that means no solar. Uh, where are those lights? Uh, let's put one there. Let's put one there. Put one around here somewhere. Put one in that build, in that build, in that build. Uh, dump the rest of the network, and the boss will just take care of it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, night vision equipment. Excellent. Let's make a night vision. Thank you. Let's make three. No, without crafting green circuits by hand, please. We have a chest right here we can just steal a stack from. Uh, a slightly uncapped chest, it seems. Wow. Uh, actually, no, let's not cap it. Who cares? Uh, actually, I care because I need to move the whole thing. I just realized that. Oops. Uh, so, solar panels. Done. Uh, batteries can go in here. As you can see, the armor doesn't hold a lot. But suddenly with night vision, I can see fine. It's awesome. Alright. Uh, iron. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so we need to start plugging these that one all right we want to take split off there I'm gonna bring it up around I'm gonna take you underground
less than ideal, but um, that's a start at least. It's a start to getting things onto a bus. Oh look, it looks like it's got writing in there. Um, okay, so that's that done. Uh, we want that, 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 that. Uh, yeah, plenty and plenty and plenty of splitters. Um, and during this episode, hopefully, uh, there will be a lovely card up the top right hand corner, probably when I first mentioned balances. So if you want to go back and, and click on it, um, very much appreciate it. It will tell you all the finer details of how balances work and why this particular balancer works and why I use it. Uh, that goes that way, and that goes that way. So that'll feed out onto our main bus. Um, what else do we need next? We need a very, very simple yeah, electronic circuits are not going to fit here. They'll have to go on that side. Uh, okay, we need to start splitting off the main bus. Uh, let's go with about here. Uh, let's just have the bots rip up that much. Uh, um, now I want to split off the main bus, but I also don't want... Um, I want to take it basically a quarter off each line. Um, that's long and shorter. So... Uh, so that'll take... Half of that line. Nope. I want to take a quarter of off each line. This one of those parts I've got to stop and think and think and make sure I've got it all right. Because once we build something once, we can then blueprint it and use it repeatedly. Uh, put our solar panels in there. Whoa, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, where one. Okay, one short. Um, Okay, I'm going to take 25% off each line. So if I go out one... Uh, think, JD, think! So that is... No, let's go with straight belt. So that's 50% off that line. That's 50% off. Oops. 50% off that line. We then want to do the same with these two. Where I want to take that and that. I want to take that and that. I want to underground there, underground there. I then want to do that. So, mathematically. Uh, yeah, okay. So, 100% of this line gets split in half. So, we have 50% of this line can come this way. Alright, we then have that 50% shifted over one, because this one dies. We have this lane, 50% can come this way. Alright, uh, we have this one, 50% shifted this way. This one, 50% shifted out. And continue straight through. So that means this line and this line, these two, are now 25% of all four lanes. All right, and then we're going to put a splitter there to join them back together for compression. Um, that's the theory, I hope, and I think, and I think that works. At the same time, we've made sure that we've always remained four lanes wide. So as we can see, lane one, lane two, lane three, lane four. Now, I should just build this by hand. It means all the materials I pull off here should remain 25% um, off each lane, which is the important part 
most important part of uh, damn we are getting damaged yeah evolution's been pushed higher um, our gun turrets at their current spacing are sort of reaching their maximum um, okay so we're gonna do a belt factory we're gonna finally now we got a decent bus running we're gonna do belts in a big way uh, We're going to put one there, one there, one there, one there. I'll move that one, I'll move that one. You, sir, are going to make gears. Yeah, you and you are going to make gears. Uh, gears are going to be... Really? No inserters? Please bring me inserters, bots. Uh, I've got gears on request. Let's, let's double that. Because uh, I need a stack of undergrounds. And I need a stack of those. Alright, slow inserters to start with. Uh, nope. Cancel, cancel. You can go back to solar panels shortly. Uh, okay, you're going to build to there. Uh, yeah, we want lots of gears. Output, 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 output. Uh, power seems important at this point. Any nature that's in this area, get rid of it. Um, okay, I'm going to put a splitter there. Set the iron to there. And I'm going to do a new iron. Nope. With a splitter. Uh, backed up here. Alright, blueprints. Uh, hang on. Give us the one, one portable solar panel. Short. Blueprints. We want to blueprint this one. Uh, and we're going to put it in that slot. Uh, we want its output to line up right here. Rid of all this crap. Mm. I split this as well. This is shameful. Mm. Turns out I'm also out of belt. Five hundred belt, please. Uh, underground from there to there, underground from there to there. Uh, hook. really? We need a belt then. Uh, okay, next assembly will be there, there, and there. You, sir, are going to make yellow. You, sir, are going to make those and you sir are going to make those uh, okay uh, So, yellow belt needs gears and iron. We're feeding in gears and iron after we actually power up some of these guys. So, uh, you're going to be powered that way. Two inserters. You're going to be powered. Your output, 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 output. 
output, output, input, input, well, output, output. This one I actually want to power from this side. Um, just in case. I know it's all feeding from the same bus, but in case one side is drained for some reason. Um, you never, ever, ever know. Uh, okay, so that gives us yellow bell. Um, we have semi, um, we have splitters, which need transport belt, and we have um, undergrounds, which also need transport belt. So we're going to put a long, long hand inserter here and here. This will take our already built yellow belt and put it into these two machines. Um, output. Output. Uh, red chests. Yep, there and there. Uh, now, the proper way to cap these guys is say, hey you, look at the logistics network because we're now going to passive providers, we're looking at the whole network. We want to say, hey, if undergrounds, uh, splitters, are less than 50. And then for lazy sake, I'm going to copy and paste that one there. I'm going to change that from that one to undergrounds. I'm also going to copy it to there. And the difference is we're going to set it to yellow belt. I'm going to say 500. 500 seems like a much more reasonable number of um, yellow belt to have in the network available. Uh, really? I'm out of, out of assemblers? No handcrafts of green circuits. Okay, it's, it's time to go find our green circuit and drag them up the bus as well. Uh, one, two. So again, I'm going to leave a four gap. Uh, and this is green circuit, so I actually want two belts of that. Uh, green circuits come to here. Can I split them there? I can. I can definitely increase the spaghetti levels. Uh, that one to there. Uh, let's just turn this here. Here seems good to good a place as any. down a four to four splitter. We'll turn that belt to go in. So pop down these basics. Uh, that's so much better. So because it's a four to four splitter, it's just going to dump it straight in and then a quarter will go to each belt. Nice and simple. I like this. Uh, okay. And we'll have that box empty. Whatever green circuits it can dump out onto the bus, it will. Uh, okay. Ooh. One, two, three, four. There. Okay, so we're getting there bit by bit. Uh, now I went to go get iron, probably. Yep. Oh, do not make green circuits. Uh, okay, next tier of machines is level two, level two, and level two. Now, you guys need gears. Great, I have a whole supply of gears right here. Um, you also need 
your underground belt. Uh, same story, I have a whole supply of that right there. Uh, you need yellow splitters. Mm, but you also need gears, so we bring along our gears. And we need green circuits, which neither of these guys got. I'll tell you that. So we straight away know that we still need to get green circuits into these builds somehow. So the easiest way to do that is let's drag along a belt. Uh... Oops. Yeah, see what I mean about that fast replace? button again, there to there, uh, oh really, there's a power pole in the middle of the bus, uh, okay, let's do this, one, two, three, four, Smack that down, that way the bots can take care of it whilst I'm not looking. Uh, this power pole needs to move. Put one there, one there. That won't break the power connection, well, apart from the half a second I ripped everything up. Um, we need one of these funky balancer things right there. Um, Gears, output, whoops, output, output, output. Uh, one there, one there, and one there. Uh, same story, we're just going to copy from their neighbors. And then we're just going to change it over, whoop, wrong one, to their red counterparts. So you're now red belt. And you're now red undergrounds. Uh, I do want robot port coverage, but I want it well out of the way. Because this thing is likely to expand uh, quite a few times as we need different things. Alright. Ah, let's see thing I need. I need too long to handle here, because this needs a belt every half a second, and this guy produces two belt every second, so long hand inserters for this little part are the way to go. Uh, really? Wow, it's 580 red belt in the network. Um, I have any green circuits. Uh, okay, that's that, um, is that third belt fixed yet? Nope. I moved the power pole and forgot to actually put down the belt. Alright, so we got our first really, really big, way overdue automation milestone. Um, unfortunately, this will chew the whole belt of iron we're feeding in, and then some. So, we'll have to look at that in a future episode. Uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. Hope you're learning something along the way. Um, this little blueprint, when I'm done with it, um, I will share it out. Um, if you want a copy earlier, by all means, just ask in the comments below. Um, good chance you'll, you'll get a copy within 24 hours. Um, the only reason I don't release it early is because I'm tweaking it with every build and every base. Um, there is a version in SpaceX, my SpaceX series, if you want to grab that. Um, it's also gone version 16 earlier this week, I think. 
Um, all depends on release schedule. At the moment, my release schedule is a little bit all over the place, being Christmas season and all. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys for watching. As always, hope you're enjoying the series. And I will see you in the next one. All right.